Good evening, I'm Sharon Coe. An outbreak of staph infection inside a local high school locker room. Several football players diagnosed with the very contagious condition. Some parents said they were not notified. So we sent Eyewitness News reporter Henry Ramos to investigate. In a small Texas town, high school football dominates. But at Medina Valley High School, the team is worried about something more than its next opponent. Because it is a, a contagious. A four football players have staph infection, which is caused by bacteria normally found on the skin. My first reaction was why I hadn't heard anything from the school or the district. This father named Joe didn't want to go on camera. Uh, they're being treated, uh, you know, not knowing at all. It's just the scary part, not knowing anything. He found out about the contagious infection from his daughter. Yeah, and these players are still playing football against other teams, other schools, other students. So how are you protecting them while they're playing and they're sweating and they're, they're actually touching other players? I, I, that I don't understand either. Medina Valley ISD superintendent told me the weight room, equipment, training tables, and locker rooms are being disinfected multiple times a day. The school district only sent out letters to parents of the football team. However, late today, Ken's Five was told another letter will be going out to all parents of a student athlete. Joe would have liked that letter a lot sooner. Uh, just at least a heads up what was going on. If it was uh, contained, controlled in any way, that would have been great, but there was no word at all. And, you know, I need to make sure that my, my kids are, are, are safe as well. Henry joins us now, and Henry, you spoke to a doctor today. Mm -hmm. Should parents be worried? Well, here's the thing, Sharon. The doctor says as long as the school is taking the precautions necessary and these students are getting treated, everything will be fine. He just stresses that these students and everyone at that school, they need to wash their hands. And in terms of the players, they're able to play as long as they have a doctor's release. That's good to know. Thank you very much, Henry. Thank